what's up guys welcome to today's video and today well on this day i went to the grand final and i recorded it so i'll kind of just let myself do the talking i might interfere with it a little bit but first let's get on the plane and go to melbourne Okay, so after the plane ride, it was about 10.30 in Melbourne AM, uh, and then we walked to a boost juice, got a boost, and then we ate lunch at Subway, and after that, went to the park to have a kick at the footy, just before going, getting into the MCG, and just saying we were going for Sydney. We might as well just go for Sydney. Now we're just outside the MCG. Uh, I'm walking with my stepdad there. It was not too long of a walk. It didn't feel at least a long of a walk. Also the grand final festival stuff was all there, which we didn't attend to, but we got some hot donuts before entering and I made sure to get some Sydney hats because we were sitting in the sun and once we got there, we were getting completely burnt. But luckily we got them beforehand at a merchandise shop. There's so many people down there. Yeah. But they don't take a wild one up. Well, it's not, so we just... It's a bounce house. There's a bounce house over there. Yeah. We are at our own water feeling. I'm at bloody our water feeling. After we had arrived at the grand final and in the MCG, I recorded some of the pre-show entertainment for you. Centre bounce has had started and both teams went at it. First it went John's way into their forward, however no one could contain possession. There was a lot of people screaming ball, which was very outlandish for multiple calls. However one time, the actually did pay it 
support this one fans in the crowd with us which was very nice of them to pay us the free I did not get the first three goals of the game for the reason of the other time goals. And then Ryan Myers went in the pocket and took a lovely mark and then converted of a left foot snap. And when he kicked this, let me tell you, the stadium was roaring. As you can see by all the Geelong fans behind the goals, everyone was pretty happy. Then Geelong, Tyson Stengel slots Ertz one with a dribbler, making one of his easiest goals of his life. And really hurting the Swans, considering the Swans were now about four goals down. And just making fumbles in defence really hurt them in this game. But every now and then they would come in in astonishing style, but then would just retreat again. Someone completely blocked it with their head. But they then just slot it again. Now we can run with it. And then the umpire paid ball to us. This is kind of where our oh, fast run ended. However, then Jezza completely started destroying the Swans. And Tommy Hawkins in total kicked three goals of the game, or four. So he just completely hurt us a lot. Then the Cats had a very tough shot deep in this pocket. Lined up. But missed it out in the full, which was completely disgraceful. But it wouldn't really matter, to be honest, after all that happened in the game. However, Sydney had still only scored one goal and Geelong had about scored five. And then the Cats had another shot at goal in almost the same position but a little bit less of an angle. However, the score was different this time. It was not out the full. And it was a goal. And just made the Cats fans cheer even more. Which just made the Swans fans so sad in the crowd. You would not believe how many of these Swans fans were just sitting there in shock. The Swans tried a little wiggly man on the mark but nothing really helped. However, it actually did in the end because I put down the camera and everything, but it was actually hit the post. Everybody had celebrated. The cats had celebrated, the fans had celebrated. This one fan was sad until they realized it was a point. Well, yes, I know there was a constant drone flying around. It was very interesting for my first ever grand final. And then they hit the post for the first time today, the Swans. And then the Cats had a scoring shot at the other end. Just all simply. And it was just ripping the game apart as Stengel lined up. To completely rip the scoreboard up and to make it a 30 point margin and ruin Sydney's chances. However, luckily we didn't have to stay uh, for the entire grand final. We, we could go at any point, especially at quarter time. So that was the end.
going on their rampage and they ended up being at half time 62 to 26 Geelong's way and it was really tipping our boat so I didn't record too much from here if really anything apart from really the plane ride we left at three quarter time or actually before that it was disgraceful throughout this game it was an 81 point win So when we went out, like the ticket guy like was stopping us from going out and we said we're not coming back and then he finally let us out. After that we got McDonald's for dinner and then took our flight home. However, it was a whole hour and 12 minutes delayed and it took forever to actually get on. Also something was flashing on this wing of the plane. Could it be a UFO? Anyway. I'll see you guys in the next AFL video. Hope you enjoy this day and peace out.